All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, this honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachak, Kudash. To put honor spent to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, all fools like that to push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. To all you, I can say Shalom. I am the Akira. I am from the seventh sea. How will Yahweh Shai Cam come in with a quick video going into how the wicked will vanish? You know, and this comes in, you know, after I thought I got, you know, when I was reading the book of Job, the 27th chapter. But I'm going to start from the book of Proverbs, the third chapter, verse 33, and it reads. All right, be with me. All right, it reads. Proverbs, the third chapter, verse 33. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blessed the habitation of the just. Which, you look into that word curse in the etymology, and it basically means a prayer that evil or harm befall one. A consignment, which that word consignment means delivery. Or an example would be a batch of goods being delivered to someone. So it's really a delivery. And it goes on to say consignment of a person. In this case, you know, the wicked, consignment of the wicked to an evil fate, an evil fate, a destiny, all right, an evil future. But it also means to wish evil to, to wish evil upon. So, hey, the curse of the, the Lord is in the house of the wicked. And who are the wicked? All right, Esau. You know, because the scriptures always hear, hear about about you know how 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 they're gonna get destroyed, all right? You know, and you can receive is really talking about an ICBM destruction. All right, that's in the uh, Isaiah the thirty fourth chapter. I'm gonna get that out as well. Malachi the first chapter verse four. It makes the mention. I'm gonna get that out. Or as Edom saith, we are impoverished. We will return and build desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call on the board of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath in the nation forever. And when the Lord releases in, in the nation. And that's really the spirit right now. It's 11.44 p.m. That's like at a.m. Call like I'm like, how about Shmuel Shai? But when it goes into that word in the nation, it means a righteous hatred. And the scriptures say how the Lord is about to release his in the nation. You know, in a in a little manner. All right, not just him being pissed out, but he's actually going to, you know, show how pissed he, off he is by you know, through this destruction that's going to come forth. So, I want to get the book of Isaiah, the 55th chapter, verse 11. And the thing is, these are, you know, prophecies spoken of from thousands of years ago. And they haven't come to fruition yet. Why? Because we're just going to Habakkuk, the second chapter, verse 5 or 4, if I'm not mistaken. Going into how, or verse 3, I think. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. All right, so for an appointed time. Appointed. Meaning for a set date, all right. We 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 can't we can't, you know, demand the Lord to bring the judgment immediately. No, the prophecy had to play out slowly. All right. So this is the book of Isaiah, the fifty-fifth chapter, verse eleven. It says, "So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void, would meaning nothing, meaning blank, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it." All right. So, you know, everything that the Lord has spoken about will come to pass. It will come to fruition eventually. You just got to wait on that. You know? Hey, the Lord is not a man that he should lie, the scriptures say. All right, so when he promised something, he really meant it. All right, so just the promises of Israel, the destruction of Esau, they're going to come to pass. We just got to wait on that. All right, but anyways, this is the book of Job, the 27th chapter. And it says in verse 13, this is the portion of a wicked man with Yahweh, and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, which they are, all right, and the, the, the wicked are multiplied. And that was in the book of, uh, I believe it was in Proverbs. But with me, I came. The book of Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse 16, it reads. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. Yeah, because eventually, you know, as the destruction happens, you know, um, 
we're, we're gonna we're gonna get beamed up on chariots and we brought forth to our land and we're gonna be changed in the twinkling of an eye and from that moment on you know that's gonna be the the commence of something new all right the kingdom's gonna be established and we're gonna we're gonna subjugate all you heathen nations all right and we're gonna rule for eternity in in order you know in righteousness and see that's the thing that's why you you heathen nations can't stand all right you, you guys you, you guys are here for a moment but after that disappear or right, you can't remain because you guys have no order you guys have no counsel the scripture is going to the book of Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter how you know the the laws are our wisdom in the sight of the heathen hey, you heathen are given the laws you guys can't do that you guys set up your own laws and then they contradict other ones as a matter of fact Esau can't even keep his own laws man all right so much for you know freedom of speech and that's all bull crap. That's why you got arguing going on Odyssey now. So, yeah, transgression increases, man. Hey, you know, you got all these draconian measures. People people get pissed off because of that. Then then you got retaliations. You got rebellions now. All right? That's why this country is not the same as it once was before. All right, if I can get it out of the book of Syrac, the 10th chapter, verse 4. It reads, Salaki verse 3, so I read the 10th chapter, verse 3 says, An unwise king, and Esau is an unwise king, destroyeth his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And there ain't no prudent leaders right now. All right? Name one. None of them are. Verse 4, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. And that's how it's shy. Or as a future prophecy, you know, coming, you know, us waiting for that to come to pass. All right, so you, Esau thinking that you could, you, you, you could live on longer. The answer is no. All right, who, who's that? Who's that Rockefeller that that died? You know, after so many hearts, so many heart implants, that that dude eventually died. Because you know, you, you guys are not meant to be immortal, I'm trying to be like the Most High. No, we're we're gonna be. You know the nation of Israel. We're gonna be many most ties. So we're gonna be like you know the Lord. You know on on a, on a below Him, below Yahweh Shai. Actually, we're gonna be we're gonna be gods, not you. Our right, mentality is only reserved for the Israelites. All right, that's why it says, "The righteous shall see their fall." So going back, the Proverbs the twenty ninth chapter verse sixteen it says, "But the righteous shall see their fall, and who are the righteous? Hey, the elect." But going back to Job, the 27th chapter, <coughs> verse 13, it says, or so like verse 14, if his children be multiplied, which they are, it is for the sword. All right, it is for the sword. And what sword are we talking about? Right, we're not talking about a gun. A, a gun can kill, it can't destroy a whole nation. No, we're talking about an intercontinental ballistic missile, the ICBMs. You know, which that's why you always got these, you know, breaking news within all these, you know, you know, amongst all these countries about, you know, so on, so on, so on, so, you know, shooting, shooting an ICBM as a, you know, missile test and things of that sort. All right, North Korea, you know, um, shooting their, testing their, their missiles, Russia developing new ones, China doing the same thing, you know, you know, um, showing off in these parades. So all these nations have ICBMs and it's all for that great event, the destruction, which will primarily takes take place in Babylon the Great. Hey, that's where that's where that's where, you know, he, he, now although Esau is in Europe and in Europe and you know and also uh, you know, Asia, Russia, Australia, you know, they're um Greenland, they're everywhere. You know the the primary destruction will take place over here, you know, with the effect of Edomites and Babylon the Great. So if this children be multiplied, it is for the sword. All right. And this offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. But going on, this is the book of Isaiah, the 34th chapter. Verse 5, it reads, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, they shall come to pass upon Selachia. Behold, they shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. I see, and what's Idumia? Idumia is a Greek, the, the, the Greek version of the word Edom, of the name Edom. 
All right, Edomia is the same as Edom. And who's Edom? Esau. All right, you, you Edomites. You guys had a judgment coming. So this this modern Edomia is talking about Babylon the Great. Not only that, but you also gonna have, you know, the rest of the heathen and the wicked Israelites in this place. They're going to get, 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 get destroyed too in that fire. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord had the sacrifice in Basra and the great slaughter in the land of Idumia. All right, see, so, you know, this place is a big old sac will be a big old sacrifice. You know, that, that, that's terrible to read. But lastly, I'm going to from the book of Proverbs 16, chapter verse 4. It reads, The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The Lord made, the Lord hath made all things for himself. Because it's basically a movie. The Lord had to set up, you know, a, a, a good guy and a bad guy. And who's the bad guy? Esau. All right, you're the villain. And you're not going to stand. Eventually, you're gonna, we're going to see your downfall. All right, this is the end. You know, it's going to be the end of the movie, basically. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. You know? And you know that's you know I don't even have to you know bring up I don't even have to you know uh, um bring up Romans six chapter verse twenty three because that basically sums up the point you know the wages of sin is death and you know when you're wicked it's because you 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 you're, you're in iniquity man right, and that's all he saw is all he does is just you know uh, um he lives in iniquity man he lives in sin all right and eventually you're gonna get that 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 destruction. All right, so this is the book of Obadiah in the first chapter. Well, actually, just one chapter. And I'm going to end it off in verse 18. It says, all right, uh, bear with me, Akim. And the house of Jacob, verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. For the Lord has spoken, and that goes hand in hand with Isaiah the fifty-fifth chapter, verse eleven, going to how it shall accomplish that which I please. Now you see, so we're, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna remain, and, and you eat in my arm. Or you guys are nothing but stubble. That because when, when you when you light a fire, you know, and you got the wood right there. Eventually, that wood, that wood, that wood, you know, dissolves in, into a, into a, a dust. You know, same thing goes when you're cremated. When you're cremated, you're nothing but ash. And so you're going to be stubble, all right? And that's all you'll ever be. Actually, as a matter of fact, eventually, um, the future generations in the kingdom, you know, with which Esau's going to come back, you know, but through the heathen because, you know, all that's going to happen is that their line is going to get cut off. All right, so for you Israelites out there, you know, believing that you eat, the, the Edomite spirits will literally be destroyed. No, the answer is no. All right, because all spirits are of the Lord. And that's in the book of Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, verse 4. So, you know, he's always a father of the spirits. So all spirits are of the Lord, even even the Edomites. You know, they're basically the Lord's children, if you will. You can't, you know, getting deep into it. But that's why, although the Lord's going to destroy their line, they're all going to come out of the heathen, the heathen nations. All right, the Lord's going to divide those, those spirits into each one of the heathen nations. All right, so uh, I want to get a quick piece of that. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, kind of. So a lot of these future generations, they're, they're going to be like, what? Uh, 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 what's, that, what's that one word? I forget that one word. Uh, I'll just say light-skinned man. A, a light-skinned man was ruling? What? The heathen were rulership? Yeah, you know, <laughs> the, the same Edomites that come back in the future generations, they're going to be astonished and be like, what? You know, white man ruling? What? We're all dark, you know? We're all dark-skinned. All shades of brown. You talking about a white man? A red man, actually? Well, either he didn't rulership. Well, the answer is, yeah, man. And they're not going to believe it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be something like a, a fairy tale for them. All right, and I actually got a precept of it. Uh, if I'm mistaken, it's in the book of Job. If I can find it, Lord will. All right. Khan, Job the 20th chapter, verse 5, it says that, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Yes, yeah, so although this feels like a long time, you know, several hundred years, actually, you know, 
you know, his rulership dates back, you know, spans back to uh, thousands of years ago. Our Esau's are in constant rulership, man. Either himself or, you know, serving, you know, under the heathen uh, as, one of the, as one of the higher ups. And, you know, one of them that comes to mind will be Hamas, if I'm mistaken, the, the Amalekite during the, the Medo Persian Empire, you know, in the times of Esther. But going on, says those excellency mounts up, mount up to heavens and is. And his hand reach into the clouds. And yeah, Esau wants to be so high and mighty. All right, that's why he built these skyscrapers. Hey, the, 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 scape, the scrape the sky. The scrape the sky. You know, they either have their ISS up in, the, up, up, in, up in space. You know, they got their, um, they had their, their, their what's that one, uh, what's that one name? Their, their Hubble, their Hubble uh, telescope. Now they have their James Webb telescope. But it goes on to say, yeah, he shall perish forever like his own dung. Yeah, because, you know, through biology, you understand that this flesh eventually dissolves, you know, and all its droppings, if you will, you know. I'm not going to go into detail, but you already know, you, already, you, you know what, the, you know the gist of it. He's going he's to perish, you know, vaporize, you know, be, you know, disappear out of thin air, if you will. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream. And should not be found. Yea, he should be chased away, chased away as a vision of the night. I was so lucky about that, Akin. But I was going to how, you know, this Esau's basically going to be nothing but a bad dream. This is all going to be nothing but a bad dream. You know, although, you know, it's real life, and we're going to have these memories. We're not going to we're not going to be thinking about the because we're going to be too, you know, focused on the kingdom. It's, you know, it's basically going to be nothing but a bad dream. Hey, because when you dream of something, you wake up, you tend to forget that dream. That's how it's going to be. I'm gonna end it off like I'm gonna end it off right there into the next one. I say shalom.